Welcome to Santini Ketan. Now to the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Manu Shakta Kohle Degari Hawa De Jala. For the old timers of Shanti Niketan, the town's dusty cycle paths, once the preferred mode of commuting in the university town, lead to a Tagore residence. Another Tagore residence to be precise, that of Supriyo Tagore, great grand nephew of Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore, the presiding deity of the town in Bengal. Supriyo Tagore, the great grandson of Satendranath Tagore, Rabindranath Tagore's brother, has been both a vanguard and a gatekeeper of Shanti Niketan's legacy for more than six decades. He now oversees Sisu Tirth, an institution primarily catering to economically disadvantaged students around Shanti Niketan. No Shanti Niketan story is complete without his insights. Well, this is a happy. Uh news that we have got from them that it has been recognized, Tagore's Shanti Kedan has been recognized, but along with that there are many responsibilities which come to us. I do not know whether the present administration is uh, capable or ready to handle that. <laughs> it has become a very crowded small town. Absolutely uh, against the philosophy of Rabindranath Tagore, he never expected this. He never expected this to become a town. Bidisha Tagore, another descendant of the Tagore family, was a student of Vishwa Bharti in the 1980s and specialized in ceramics and pottery. She shifted back to the town in 2019 and decided to open a homestay, Amuli, with her partner. I think Shantini Kiton as a whole belongs to every Bengali. Every Bengali who knows Tagore, who believes in Tagore and his philosophies, they can carry it ahead. We have had a lot of people who've come, moved into Shantini Ketan to etch a life out here. And they're doing very well. They're creating employment. These are all artists. They're creating employment for local women. They're fine-tuning Katha. They are fine-tuning Batik, which has become so commercial, which is something which is really welcoming. If we open our doors and UNESCO walks in, they will come back because there's so much to take from here, so much. Barun Chattopadhyay, for instance, is not a Shanti Niketan insider. He was raised in Uttarpara, a bustling suburb of Kolkata, home to Hindustan Motors that produced the legendary ambassador cars. Yet in many ways, Chattopadhyay is truly living Tagore's philosophy. His printing press is the talk of the town. फेले तो शेटा आम के खुशी होई लुके दाए वने नहीं जन आउट जो ना दूर करूं तो इटा आशे आ आनारस थे के खूब भालो है आनर आनारस शोमरा लगा चुके पाइनेपल पेपर खूब मने फिनलैंड के स्कूले एक होना आनारस शे की पाता गुलो हाँ मने शे मारत तो खूब भालो का गुलो मने भीषण स्ट्रॉंग का गुलो जर खूब भालो रों Shiyuti Chaudhary runs an initiative called Dorji. Her newly opened studio looks like a remodeled garage, but it has enough space to host other creative people like Tamal, who makes jewelry out of scrap material. Graduation in uh, other language. In uh, Japanese. In Japanese. And yet you've uh, ended up doing something like this. One would have thought that you're a student of sculpting or uh, you know like yeah so but then it seems Shantinikatan students 
have different interests in uh, even when they're studying something they have other interests too right yes always we have interest in other things like art and music is that the culture of shantiniketan yes you can say like that uh, from schooling i am i i made many artwork and always i'm think about to make more and more in mm. art field when we started we uh, came across some weavers who were like uh, looking for jobs and searching for uh, clients who can buy hand looms hand loom weavers who are like desperate of uh, g having having livelihood the, uh, yeah, for a, for, for a, a, a for a search of livelihood so we got to know about those weavers and we uh, talked to them made their uh, patterns include in our uh, work actually so we collect yarns from various places of bengal and then we dye them with uh, natural colors which we uh, make the colors itself from the nature like uh, coir ketachu marigold also rose petals and then we uh, give these yarns to the weaver who weave the patterns for us Sure enough every new age indigenous fashion label owner in Shanti Niketan almost instinctively recommends another label even when they are direct competitors you know this is the place this is the place where art should be made literature should be made and people should question talk and engage with more conversations and uh, i i think that might create a buzz but um, yes commercialization is there but uh, i really feel like there are good things happening as well and we should uh, concentrate on the positive things also <laughs> This legacy resides in Amrita Bhattacharya's heart too. The 39-year-old quit her job as a professor of Bangla at Kolkata's Charu Chandra College to set up an experimental food kitchen in her hometown, Shanti Niketan. Her kitchen, surrounded by throbbing green rice fields, barely registers its presence on Google Maps. Really, we, I and my husband, we both travel in various parts of India and abroad also, and we try to meet with elderly people and other local people and try to learn and try to know the traditional recipes, indigenous food, indigenous cooking method, and. Then we come back and try to recreate. Recreate it. एकाने जे खूब बेशी जे जब उन बांग्लादेशी प्राय किस्वे फैला हुआ है ना ना खोशा थे के शुरू कोडे माथा ये हार आश माने शॉवी प्राय माने ये टक इन्तु खूब अनलाइकली जे शकुंदर माँ एकाने आज भाजा कोडे ये टक इन्तु खूब नॉर्मल ना है एकाने हाँ किन्तु एकाने मेनली एक धारणे in a not very straight way, mm. it's a slanted way thing, and they pre preserve it with salt, turmeric, and oil. Sometimes for a year or more than a year. How do they preserve it? Like in a in uh, a in pot. Guru Dev, Rabindranath Thakur, he always try to create a school which is local, but in at a very same time very global so this food is also another kind of thing food is also another method to communicate people with the taste beyond languages her home is a happy marriage of architecture of bengal and the south of india